today I'm making green plantain porridge so what you need is some salt flour I'm using coconut milk some cow's milk vanilla cinnamon powder and some grated nutmeg so first you have to peel the plantain and cut it to blend I'm gonna use a neutral today so as usual I have my bag to discard what I'm not using Yes, guys, so I'm going to peel the green plantain. But here's a um, tip and trick. Peeling like green plantain and green bananas, they're very stainy. Though. So what you can do is put a little oil in the hand, rub it like that, and then when you peel it, there will be no stain when you wash your hands off. So, let's go. What to do, cut the plantain like that. Make a cut to the side. Cut the butter. And start peeling the way you cut it from. some people will peel this but I, you don't have to peel it some people literally like use a knife and go like this until it's finished but I don't do that that way you're wasting a lot of it so it's best to just peel it going that way it's not hard not hard at all When there's a little thing up, um, left on it, what you can do is use a knife and scrape it off. There's this guy. All peeled without using a knife to peel it entirely and clean. So, I'm going to cut it up in a bowl here. I'm going to cut it up in small pieces to blend. As you know, plantain and bananas, um, they're, they're tough, out, but when you blend them, it's easy to blend. So, don't worry about that. Also, I'm going to peel this one. I'm just making a little, guys, because if I was making a lot, then you will require to have more plantain. But because I'm just making a small amount, then these two will do. Like I said, make a cut to the side. Cut the bottom also, and peel going that way because you cut it that way so peel whether, whether if you want to use your right hand you just turn it up and use it to go that way but I use my left hand to peel stuff so like bananas and planting it's very easier even, even though I'm right handed but it's very easier so I always use my left hand because it let me go faster see I use my left hand to peel things faster so there you go guys and look at this very clean and nice and as you know I'm gonna cut that in small pieces to blend and as usual guys it's just easy to lift the bag put it aside what I'm gonna do now I'm going to wash my hands off as you notice, I have some water in this. Remember, a tip. When it comes to peeling stuff, whether it be plantain, bananas, yams, potatoes, whatever, as long as it's a peeling um, thing, just make sure to always put some water in it. When you put the water in it, immediately it keeps the stuff fresh. <laughs> What you have to do is stir it because you don't want it to have lumps so you keep stirring it. Yes guys, so as you see I'm adding my coconut milk. And look how beautiful this is. What you do is keep stirring. Look at how gorgeous the porridge is. Green plantain porridge. This guys, the next I'm gonna add my cow's milk. I like to add everything in there and then I let it stay there and cook for a while. So everything can be well incorporated. Sometimes people would add stuff by every five minutes or two minutes but I like to add everything then when it stay there and cook you get the best result I'm adding some nutmeg, grated nutmeg also some vanilla I 
Yes, guys, and you know all of the spices for flavoring. Then I'm going to add some cinnamon powder. Okay. Yes, guys, and now I'm going to add some salt. Also, some sugar. Look at all those spices. Like special the great nutmeg grated. You could have uh, you can buy the nutmeg powder, but you see I like it this way. I like to have a look in whatever I'm doing. So that's why I make it this way. Because I could have easily buy bought the nutmeg powder, pour it in there, but I like my things to be different. So that is why it's looking like this. I like things Miss Brownway. Guys, you should smell this kitchen. You should smell this kitchen. It's something else in here. All this spice combined. Wow, very nice. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn down the um, stove to a low and let it stay there for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. Yes, guys, look how beautiful this is. And guys, if you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to put cinnamon in there. If you don't like nutmeg, you don't have to put anything. If you don't like vanilla, you don't have to put anything. But it's best for you to put some form of spice in the porridge because it really, it makes a difference. And you don't have to put all three in there anyway. You can just put one. If it's one, you have to put it in there. It's going to taste good the same. Just do it, Miss Brown way. I'm going to cover the pot and let this simmer a little. Yes, guys, and this is the lovely green plantain porridge. Look how beautiful that is. All the spices, nutmegs, cinnamon, vanilla. Just make it Miss Brown way. Tell somebody about it. Tell somebody what I'm doing over here. Tell them to come and check out Miss Brown. Because I have the things to show. And just wait for them to come. Because they are coming.